Hello, I'm Howl2010, and today I am playing one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Oops. I'm playing it on the computer because I can't record on an Xbox. And sorry, I can't move the mouse out of the way. But whatever. Anyway, so I am playing Dark Souls by From Software. Now, I beat the crap out of this game already. But, I figure I'll do it here so you can see. Well, I, I'm playing this on the uh, on a video because I really do like this game. Anyway, as you can probably guess, I've chosen my starting class as Deprived. Because that's the class for badasses. And... I am badass. That wasn't particularly badass, but whatever. I'll show you something badass in a few minutes. As you can see, my starting gift is the black firebomb. That is important. Because, like I said, I'm a badass, and this is what badasses do. Oh, shit. Anyway, up here, right through this door, is the boss. And let me tell you, this is not a bass bottle, or boss battle, bass bottle, what the hell. You're supposed to lose. Ah, fuck. Alright. Eat that one. And that one. And that one. One more. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Almost. Almost killed him without dying. Y you all saw that. You see, he had little health left. Fuck. Well, that's what happens in Dark Souls. Alright, now I just gotta... You need five black fire bombs, so if I am unable to kill him this time. Alright, I, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Just gotta roll, roll, throw, roll, throw. Roll, 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 throw, 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 oh, I did it, like a boss, that is how you do it, now I cannot actually equip that weapon yet, or even for a while, because, well, as you saw, yeah, see, 46 strength is needed. But, I can hold on to it for a little while. See, another thing I like about this game is not only... Or, you can dual wield any weapon or item. So you can dual wield two shields and actually fight with them. But you can also wield any weapon with two hands. Like even this. My broken sword, two hands. I don't do that because that's kind of stupid. Anyway, so normally <laughs> I'll show you what you're, how you're supposed to beat that battle when you're not as good as I am. All right, watch out! There's a hollow archer up there. Have to come into this alcove and grab your shield. Now this shield is actually pretty weak. 
I mean, here. Okay, okay, yeah, he's he's leaving. So here, I'll show you. Uh, as you can see, physical damage reduction is. Here, let me turn my mouse on. I keep turning my mouse off so it stops messing with my camera. Oh, there we go. There we go. Anyway, like I was saying, see, physical damage reduction is only 75%. That means even if I block an attack with this, I still get 25% of the damage of that attack. And there we go. The deprived. I'm now a fully equipped deprived. Watch this. Bam. 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 Bastard. Alright, so how you're supposed to get through that boss battle when you're not is when you don't take the uh, black fire bombs or you're not as good as me uh, see that item up there we'll get that item later when you return to the undead asylum anyway when you're not as good as me and know what to do then then you're supposed to come up here and you're also supposed to run in here and talk to this guy. I think this is the guy who freed oh, you at the beginning. You. You're no hollow, boy. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? I'll hear him out. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. It's a really well, now you know. Ah. And I can die with hope in my heart. It's interrupting. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. You know, he sees I'm completely naked, and he knows he's about to die, so he could give me his shield and his sword and his armor. But whatever. Whatever. Anyway, that's a really weird... Uh... Oh, if you hear that, that means he just killed himself. You see, I just got 100 souls, and he's gone. Anyway, yeah, that's a really weird, uh, family saying, isn't it? Alright, here, um, run down to this down stairwell over here. Unlock this door. It can only be opened from the other side. As you see, there's the fire pit, but that is not how you're supposed to normally beat the boss. Oh, and from that guy, you normally only get the Estus Flask and the key for this, the Undead Asylum Floor 2 East key. You get the big pilgrim f key from killing the, from killing that boss. See? It, yeah, you can tell your port's crappy when it still has controls for Xbox controllers in its freaking thing. And yes, I am using an Xbox controller because the freaking keys for the keyboard are insane on on this game. Alright, and resting at bonfires revives enemies. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Alright, kill both of them. Watch out for this guy. Kick him. Then bash his head in with a club. See, how you're supposed to do it is you're supposed... To, he's supposed to, like, be right down there. And you're supposed to do a plunging attack from up here, doing a massive amount of damage to him and actually having a weapon. But anyway... Let's check this out. BAM! That is how you do it. Ha. 
see was a parry. I told you, I am actually good at this game. But you know, they say this game's like one of the hardest games ever. It's not really that hard. It, it really isn't. Anyway. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Shh, shh, shh. Do you hear that? That's a boss that's under this floor. When you come back to the Undead Asylum, because uh, it's an optional area, but you can come back and get some good loot. It will have stronger enemies all throughout the area, and this floor will break away and reveal a different boss. Anyway, all that says is go straight. Um, I suppose I could show one more secret over here. Snuggly the Crow. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. Supposedly you put items there and, uh, like you'll get other items. You actually have to drop them. I, I don't know all the items. I never use that anyway. Anyway, here's where you go. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Uh-oh. That's to a good leave crow. the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordren. Lordren. See? Told ya. You know, this game also has a really good story. I, it's not very narratively focused, but it it's so deep. I mean, there's just so much lore and backstory. And my shield is not even touching me. I'm so badass that my shield just floats an inch away. Alright, so. In Lordran, level up and kindle at bonfires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you use, um... I'm not going to reverse hollowing. You reverse hollowing with humanity. And anyway, I'm going to level up using all my new souls. As you see, uh, Deprived starts at level 6 with, uh, all these different, like, with all the different stats at level 11. And, um, whoops, uh, so it's, like, meant so you can beat any, so you can basically do anything you want from the beginning of the game, but you have to, uh, that you start with nothing, so it's harder. Anyway, I think I want to level up my endurance twice. I might be saying level up strength, etc. Might be a good idea, but endurance is really helpful, and so is vitality. But I think I can get Actually, yeah, I can get by on that. All right, now go talk to this guy, and he tells you that. Uh, well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. You really Let me guess. Creepy. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? 
And I'm pretty sure I came here because I wasn't undead and they just kind of threw me in the asylum. Whatever. Anyway, so, first I need to go grab everything that I can. All the items, etc. I suppose I could go and level up one more time. But I'll do that in a few seconds. Gesture. It's like this. Not really useful offline. Hello there. I am Petrus of... If not... I... But I'm here. No. And this guy's not a very good guy. In fact, oh later... My. Oh, uh, so would. Yeah. Very well. I'll join the Way of the White for now. There's no penalty for abandoning it. Uh, ouch. Now let me share my only. Purchase item. Miracles are a Come type again. of. Come again. The effect. Shh. Miracles are a type of. Uh, magic. There are three types of magic. Pyromancy, sorcery, and miracles. And, um... I, in my last game, I didn't really use them. Because I didn't really find them useful. Anyway, now, here you might think is death, but my brother actually, he played it recently and actually showed me something I didn't know. It's a quick way to right here. To right here. Where there are a bunch of treasures. I knew the treasures were here, but I was always like... Hey, hey, damn it. I was always like running, jumping from the top of that wall up there and jumping down here. Cracked red eye orb. It's used for invading players online. The Dark Wraith uh, Covenant get a full red eye orb that it has unlimited uses. Morning Star and Talisman. Why don't you wish upon this star? Uh, the talisman, I'm just equipping it just because. But it's actually used for casting miracles. But since I don't have any miracles equipped, then I can't cast any miracles. See how that works? You need attunement to cast miracles. Alright. I'm going to go level up once and then I'll come back here. This is not the way you're supposed to go. This is all fucking hell. Run, 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 run. Wait, is it still following? Oh, fuck, it's still following me. Skeletons in this game are incredibly hard. In most games, they're, they're pushovers. They're weak. You kill them easily. In this game, they are freaking monsters. Anyway, I only actually need like 20 or so points. So I'm gonna go to the beginning of the new Londo ruins first. Okay. Night Lord Trick isn't here. This is the fire keeper. If she dies, she uh, that that fire up there goes out. However, you can reinforce the and you can reinforce the Estus flask here, granting more health per drink. The Estus Flask is the most useful item in the game. You could not beat the game if you didn't have it. That's just the way it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go farm a few uh, hollows to get a few. Just, just to get a couple souls so I can level up once. And then I'm going to go get like the weapon in my original playthrough that I beat the game with. takes more than one hit to kill them. Wow, that's surprising. I actually have enough to level up right now. I'm just kind of slaughtering them. Um, if you go over here... Oops. I guess I can't push them off like that. Aw. Come on, come on. Bam! And he fell. Fell into New Londo. Uh, eventually, at some point in the game, you unflood this 
ruined city and find it's filled with all sorts of horrible nasties. This is the mm -hmm. first well, this is a more well, I'm blacksmith. I'm Rickard of Vinehood. Can uh, he can upgrade your weapons mm -hmm. to uh is all that uh, I'll, sh I'll show you I'm the best in Vineheim and I'm only using a rock, whatever. Right, purchase item. Does he have actually anything useful? No, he does not. Not useful for me anyway. Come back soon. Smithing, I, don't let me. And I don't have, uh. Um, whatchamacallit? I don't actually like using maces, because as you can see, they're slow. They just. And you can't, like, combo with them. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. Whoops. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna punch him to death. Think you're bad, huh? Think you're bad. Well, I'm gonna punch you to death. Why? Because you're not bad. You are a wuss. You're actually insane. You you can't even understand what I'm saying. You've lost your mind long ago. Like I should have, but. Actually, no, I'm just going to bash his head in. Screw that. That took way too long. I got bored. Anyway. Oh, whoa, that was close. I picked up the S-Talk. That'll, that'll do for now. It's not as strong as... Oh, the Morning Star was weaker than the freaking club, and it weighed more? What the hell? I didn't know that. And it has less durability. Oh, but it has bleeding. That's why it's better. Oh, I don't have enough dexterity to wield the s stock. Oh, well. Um. Guess I'll do that next. I'll put one point into dexterity. With this. Transient curses are useful for going into that horrible pit of hellishness. It's filled with some of the worst enemies in the game. Ghosts. They fly through the walls and, like, can attack you through the walls. And without a transient curse, you can't even hit them. Unless you yourself are cursed, but you don't want to be cursed. Because being cursed, it means, a uh, Oh, whoops, Valley of the Drakes. Wrong way. Anyway, because being cursed, when you get cursed, it kills you instantly. And then when you come back, you permanently have only about half your maximum life. Until you get uncursed. But while you're cursed, you can kill ghosts. I suppose that's why the guy who sells all the uncursed stuff, is, uh, or at least sells it all for cheap, is in the like depths of the horrible ghost-filled dungeon. Anyway, I'm going to put one more point into dexterity, and then start heading out. I'll go to the Undead Burg, which is where you're supposed to go at first, pretty much. Level up. Actually, before I do, before I go to the Undead Burg... I know one more thing that I'll want to do. There we go. There's one more thing I want to do. And it's really, really important. It's messed up that this chest is open. I swear I remember opening it in the Xbox. Oops. Fencing sword. Alright. So there's one more thing that needs to be done. Oh, wait. Two more. I gotta grab items from up here also. It should be like a... I can't remember if there's a chest or just a corpse. Oh, yep, yeah, it's, it's just a corpse. Alright, how you get back to uh, the one place? I'm pretty sure you have to go to the top of that tower right there. Like... 
Oh yeah, you have to go to that nest up there. I remember. I also remember you can't jump over walls and actually have to go down to the right or the the break in the wall, and that you can fall off ledges. All right, at the end of this horrible skeleton-filled graveyard is what I seek. Large soul of lost undead is not what I see. Oh shit! Come on, come on, come on! Here it is, the Zui Handler. It and the winged spear. Ooh, sweet! Anyway, it is the weapon that I actually. The Zui Handler is the weapon that I use to beat the game. I mean, I, I killed Lord Gwyn with this wee hand. And no, I'm not even going to try fighting those guys because they're just... They're insane. But that's okay because you keep your weapons when you die. So, as you can see, I still have the winged spear. Although I need 13 strength and 15 dexterity to wield it. I'm actually going to as soon as I have that much. And the Zui Handler is um, incredibly slow, but through the course of the game and playing it and killing bosses with it, I've learned how to time the attacks just right. Okay, died. Pick up my corpse. Get all the souls back. I only had 224. That's not... That's not much. For my for my personal game, uh I need like eighty thousand to level up once. Uh if you didn't if you don't know anything about this game, souls are pretty much the be all and all kind of currency. You use them to buy items or level up. I really like it. I I like that thing where your experience is also what you use to buy items so you have to decide whether you want that shiny new sword or ah. or if you want or the sorry I got distracted so you have to decide if you want this shiny new sword or an extra point in strength Oh no! Oh shit! Shit monkeys. Okay, back up, back up. And Estes. No, you don't. Oh, you think you're bad just because you got a good shield, huh? Huh? Well, you know what? I eat people like you for breakfast. I really wish one of them would have dropped armor. Anyway, there's an item over there. I, I think it's just a soul. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get over there, so I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, any more items? Nope. That was it. Ha ha. Idiot. As you see with um, thrusting weapons and uh, and spears do it too. You can hold down block and you'll keep your block up while attacking like that. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna call it a gonna call it a day when I get to the first uh, or the next fire pit. Kill the rat. Don't let those rats hit you, by the way. They poison you. They're a pain in the ass later on. And they're vicious later on. That one's a wussy. But other ones get pretty vicious. I don't normally use the s stock, So, I'm just doing this for fun right now. Come on. Oh, there's a bad guy right there. Drink a drink. And plunging attack right on his head. All 
Alright, let's see, where do I go from here? That didn't sound good, did it? But that's okay. It was okay. Oh, but that's shut. Ah, oh, shit. Don't normally find things in uh, barrels like that, but barrels are clutter, and actually sometimes you can find find things. Uh, all right, pick up some garbage. It it's really worthless. I really don't know why they even give you the ability to pick it up. There's absolutely nothing you can do with it, and you can only feed it to Framped for one soul. Anyway, so, I'm getting close to the, uh... uh humanity is important. Those are humanity items that grant you humanity. You can use them to become a human. Instead of looking like a freaking zombie like I do right now. Poke, poke. This guy throws a fireball. Because he's a wussy. Doesn't fight like a man. Yeah. Still no armor. It might be a while before I get any armor. So, you know, bear with my character being naked for a second. Looking at a naked zombie's back for a while. Lost soul of the undead. You don't get there from here. Oh, fucking hell. The Hellkite Dragon. Um, or Hellkite Drake. It's one of the harder enemies. Even though you face it right at the beginning of the game, they say that it's harder than most bosses in the game. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, but I'm a badass. I can do it. Watch. Oh, shit. Oh, God. That was close. Drink your drink. And then... Turn around. Avoid the crossbow. And go stab him in the chest. Just because. <sighs> Be careful. You can fall. Alright. All right. No enemies. No enemies. And a wooden shield. Wooden shield is better than the plank shield. See, it does 93. There we go. Got a new shield. Got some new weapons. And found a fire pit or a bonfire whatever that's called yeah bonfire anyway so that was uh first episode of dark souls or probably be split into a couple episodes thanks for watching see you next time